Hello my lovely crew, this is your Captain Sabo speaking. And welcome back to Spider-Man. In the last episode we made MJ mad by ruining her infiltration of Sable. Whoopsie. Um, but we also got a lead and that's probably where we're going at this point. Point. At this point. Actually, no, there is a side mission over here. No equipment available. Ooh, new suits! I love a new suit. Iron spider suit. Ooh. Here we go. Alright. Hello? Mr. Parker? It's Drio Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the feast shelter. Glad to. And please call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he has reservations. I finally gave him a choice. This or more therapy. He needs this. He just hates to feel like a victim. Or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Aunt May know. And I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Alright. Oh, there's a mission here. Can you help us out? Oh, the snipe hunt. We just caught a sniper stalking Mayor Osborne's chief of staff. Pretty sure there are other targets. Our perp had a map of the city with the courthouse circle. I'm on it. See if you can get more info out of our friend here and contact me at this number. <laughs> okay. Well, one moment. I have a cat that wants in and she has run in for... Pretty much over half an hour now, so... <laughs> one moment. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. My own brain, I, ha I have had a bit... Uh, <laughs> not a bit to drink at all, but I have... <sighs> I just I need to pick hurry. up the pace the here. The on the courthouse could come any second. There you go. Science trophy. Awesome! All right. If the sniper sees me near the target, he'll take the shot. Only chance is to take out the gunman before he can fire. All right. I mean, that makes sense. Can I please get back up here? Down. All right. Nobody likes a camper. Spider-Man. We accessed the perp's phone. Found more names and locations. Looks like it's all going down within a matter of minutes. No pressure. Send me what you got. Hey, you're good, there, man. Multiple snipers, one Spider-Man. I need to move fast. All right. Anyone who's ever worked on Norman's campaign is a potential target now. That's one way to destroy Osborne, I guess. Make it so nobody wants to be around him. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Like Luna Lovegood said, said if I were you know, know who, I'd want you to feel unknown. Sniper's gotta be around here. Isolated. So yeah. If I get too close to the target. There we go. Or something along One that down, line. I, two I haven't watched the fifth movie in English. In English. I watched it in Danish. So that's Gotta just a loose translation. All vantage points for snipers. Go down. Would you stop with the cinematic Target camera? Safe. I have somewhere else to go. One to go. There's somewhere else to go, man. If I'm too slow, people die. 
Welcome to your superhero's life. Why can't assassins ever try and work around my schedule? <laughs> well, because they don't know your schedule. They, they don't even know who you are. Now, where's the assassin? I literally didn't see that come. Alright, that's the assassin. And down. Stay out of this. Seriously? Alright, now we go. Just in time. That's not good for the back. Oof. Officer, all three snipers are down. Are we in the clear? Not quite. Our perp says his boys are holding a bunch of tourists hostage. He says they'll execute them all if we don't let them go. We have a probable location based on cell phone towers. But if they see cops, they'll start shooting. Act like you're negotiating. Stall them. I'll take away their bargaining chips. There we go. They won't leave witnesses. Either I save the hostages, or they're dead. Alright. Then let's go save them. Well, you have nothing else. We have nothing better to do, so... Why not? Oh, I love swinging around around in this game. It's one of the most amazing feelings, and I don't know why. It's not you swinging around, you're pressing a button, button on the controller, but... If they see me, they can kill all the hostages before I get close. It just feels amazing. Our demands are simple. Release our all right. If I'm spotted, those hostages are dead. Gotta take out these guys quietly. You're a dang. There we go. Ah, oh, you're safe. You're safe. I'm on the flag. Oh, now he's a danger. Now they're both dangerous. There we go. Oh, he's seen the body. Sweet. Now he's down. All right then. Only two left. Up here anyway. Taking you out and you out. All right, there we go. Then we have these guys. All right, let's go back up on the flagpole. You're a danger. So why not just distract you over there? That didn't really go as planned. Ah. Come on. Over there. Why are you still a danger? Come over here, buddy. And you, you go over there. No, you don't. There, buddy. Are you kidding me? How are you safe to take out? Alright, now I trust you. Safe to take out. And up here. And up there. No, alright. All right. Say that one instead. Come on. I just really want to do this stealthily. All right, come on. Come on. Can I get you over there again? There we go. Snoring now. And you're safe to take down. And so are you. 
There we go. Yes. Thanks again, Spider-Man. This could have turned ugly. I wouldn't have known about it if not for you. We make a good team, officer. Hey, see if you can convince more of your buddies to work with me instead of shooting at me, okay? <laughs> yeah, that is a problem. Ooh. Auto. I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. No cabs in New York? I mean, that's a really bad lie. Justice denied. City Hall still unpunished. Spider-Man, better or worse than Sable? Uh, security vs. Freedom, Sable International, Bruta Bru Brutality, Accusations. What should you do if Sable stops you? ESU, your madness, still unexplained. Our next caller right. reports a problem I saw coming a mile away. Go ahead. Hello. Let me actually just... Check... That there is no extra side missions right now? Alright, that. Last night, when I oh, hey, Sable. I was naked. Madam, you have my sympathies. Just imagine what sort of deviant personality would dress up like that in the first place. And it's a short step from there to peeping Tom activity. Folks, it doesn't matter if you live on the first floor or the 31st. Keep the curtains drawn. Lock your windows. A web pervert walks among us! So now I've graduated from menace to pervert. Thank you. You know, the speed I swing by... The the speed... The speed that I swing by in... Eh. I don't really think I would be able to see you if you're naked. <laughs> in there. Even if you aren't naked. I wouldn't really be able to see you in there. It would just be a blur. <laughs> so... <laughs> Thank you, but... Please stop it. That's all I can really say. Here we go. Fixing your hair. You have mask hair. Hmm. And that a doozy. And we're back in the lab now. Hey, it's been a while. Sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. All right. What does this one say? Uh, what? Alright. Gonna do the last ones here. So, by taking... Let's take a look. This one... No, not that one. Um, this one and then this one. Um, this one and not that one. Mm. That one. No. Still doesn't work. Hmm. Alright. Um. Oh, that, that one definitely doesn't work. That one. Then that one. Then that one. Alright. Then that one. And this one. And then these three. Alright, that makes more sense. There we go. That did it. Gallium phosphide nanowires. Hmm. All right. Time for some science. 
Yes, yeah, science. Um. Um. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, that doesn't work. I still think that one. And then maybe that one and then this one. There we go. Then that, not that one. This one. And this one and that one doesn't work. Um, that one does. But then that one is a problem. Mm. That one maybe? No, because then these doesn't work. Actually, this will. No, not that. Damn it. What? That's right. Oh, this one. Uh. Out of there. Hmm. This is a doozy. Alright, let's try that. And uh, let's see here. Then I can use that one. And then this one. And this one uses that one. Not that one. Um. Like this. There we go. My brain couldn't wrap itself around that one. That looks right. Glycero free free phosphor co for, for coline. Ooh. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't sound very good. There we go. All of them completed. All right. Um, all right. That one was apparently nothing. For some reason, that was nothing. All right. Um. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get right. it under three milliseconds. All right. <coughs> okay, looks like I could optimize this power relay. Um This um There we go. That works. Nice. Okay, what next? I cut it down to a 4.9 milliseconds at least. It looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. And that, there we go. Finished. That got it down to a 3.6 milliseconds. All right, well, almost there. Signal almost. The noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. Um. So we need five. That gives us eight. I have to get through that, so that's now on 10. So if we take 2 and 3 away, then that should work. Right? Right? Ah. 
I hope so. There we go. Don't know why I tried to make it more complicated. 2.8 milliseconds. There we go. I mean, I feel it would be better to like I got it, get Doc. it to like one millisecond or zero milliseconds. Like that Good would work, be Peter. some real fast re response time. Just in case. Looking good so far. So far it looks good. <laughs> I love the way they did that. Here we go. I mean, that's impressive. I'd call that a mild success. I'd call that unbelievable. You alright, that duck? Do you need some help? Yes. Aw. Aw, oh, Otto. There we go, buddy. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. No need to shout. Doc loves these things. He used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. Yeah, there they are. We're nearing us that time. Ah. Uh. What is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? Provides remarkable magnetic insulation and limits cross contamination between the neural interface and arms. Hmm. Well, that's good. Can't do anything there. All right. Let's see if this is anything. The device will need two parts to function. There we go. The first will be an entirely original prosthesis, a modular system of micro cables able to take on any number of forms, whatever the user can imagine. The second part, and this, Peter, is the true genius, is a direct neural interface, a direct tap straight into the basal ganglia. Unleash the brain. 
from your mind to reality. This goes beyond limb replacement, Peter. This will free all of us from the shackles of our bodies. Like your web friend, soon we'll all be capable of living our most amazing fantasies. Hmm. Sounds too good to be true. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Hmm. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Yeah. There we have it. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch. Noticed the decay of my fine motor control. Well, I'm the one who wanted a genius for an assistant. Of course he knows. I just need more time. My work can improve millions of lives. Save millions of lives. It can also save my own. I just need more time. But your time is running out, Otto. Extendable. Better than regular arms. Need traditional hand. Yeah. Sensors. Uh, elbow joint. Organic fibers. Carbon fiber shell. Hmm. That's all you have. All right. Mm. Aunt May. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. Scorpion, Singer Sting, Electro Unplugged, Fist Crusader, Criminal, Rhinos Rampage, Roadblocked, Vulture Squawks. <laughs> Alright, well, we have to go. Mile. Ah, oh, damn. Alright, fine, we can take this. Let's just finish these and then go to Miles. First day. All right. All right. So that will have to go like that. Trying to figure out. Yeah, that. That that's free. Then one two. Then we're on five. Then we're on six. There we go. Oh, I didn't have to go into all four. That's right. I did it. Precision targeting. All right. Need nine. We're on five already. That gives us eight. That then minus one. All right. So instead, let's go this way. Three. That gives us eight. That then gives us 11. Uh, but by pulling away free, we actually get 8. Oh, 2 from it then. Basic math. Apparently it slipped my mind. Finished. There we go. Done with all of those. A bit of a fixer up. Hey, hey. Yeah. All right. Let's get out there and get to Miles Morales' first workday. Help him out a bit. Here we go.
I think maybe next episode will be Hi May. The science episode. Nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so Good. I'll be there soon. Like next episode is just going to be uh, the purple these uh, thing Harry, Harry's little projects or rather his mother's projects. Control. Do we have an update on the situation? There we go. contact info. Ah. We're taking fire. You night owls may have seen lights flickering out of the raft Supermax prison last night. Sadly, it was not because one of their inmates got the chair. No. Apparently, someone there hit on an idea I actually think has merit, which is making that recidivist criminal Electro pay for his room and board by powering the prison himself saving taxpayers money not surprisingly though it turns out he hates actual work as much as he loves robbing and murdering so they had to go back to the city's grid which i'd imagine is why i still can't run my microwave and toaster at the same time without blowing a fuse <laughs> all right i'm gonna have 20 episodes so here actually if you like this video press the like button if you really enjoyed it press that subscribe button share the video with your fri friends and fa family it'll help me out it'll help the channel out and otherwise, I hope to see you, my lovely crew, in the next Officers video. In Murray Hill. Bye!